So now let's start working on our project. First of all, I'm going to create a new folder that's going to hold uh, all of our uh, project files. So on my desktop, I'm going to create a new here, a new folder, new, and then I'm going to name it here. I'm going to name it chat, chatter, but, chatter, but, and then hit enter. And then uh, in order to open it in Visual Studio Code, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, obviously, in this course. And uh, in order to open it in Visual Studio Code, you just need to drag that folder and drop it. And it's going to open it. And as you can see now, we have this folder opened in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to create a new Python file in this folder. Here, new. And then I'm going to name it. Here, I'm going to name it index.py. And then hit enter. And now we have our first Python file in our project. So let's now start working and learn the basics of the uh, chatterbot library or module. So here, first of all, I'm going to import it. First, we need to import it, obviously. So I'm going to say from, from chatterbot, import, and then chatbot. So the first important and uh, the most important class is the chatbot. And this chatbot class will let us obviously create an object and then we can start building our uh, chatbot in any way we want. Let me now show you the power of using this uh, chatbot class. First of all, we need to create an object here, chatbot, and then this chatbot takes uh, many parameters. The first parameter is the name of that chatbot. You can name it whatever you want. So the first parameter is the name of that chatbot. You can name it just just chatbot or uh, maybe math uh, bot or maybe a restaurant or maybe just a simple conversation bot or maybe maybe for a specific per, uh, purpose, maybe for your business, whatever you want. But here is just the name of that chatbot. The uh, second most important parameter that you can pass is the read only read only so this read only this read only is just a boolean and it determines whether you want to let this uh, chatbot learn uh, later after uh, as the user is uh, interacting with the chatbot or not so if you pass here true if you pass here true then you are you are kind of disabling this feature so the chatbot is not going to take the user responses into account uh, in order to respond with a kind of a better uh, or uh, give a an accurate let's say an accurate response so this is uh, true here is gonna just kind of disable this feature if you want to enable this feature just pass here false false so read only false so this false this chatbot is not going to read only this chatbot is going to take uh, the user responses into uh, account and then the third most important parameter is called logic logic underscore adapters adapters and then equals to an array and here this logic adapters um, is just going to uh, give the chatbot the logic that you want the chatbot build its response upon so if you just want a simple conversation if you want to let the chatbot uh, respond with uh, just simple strings it's just the the purpose of that chatbot is just a simple conversation you can pass here and you should pass chatterbot dot logic dot best match and of course you can later I'm gonna teach you how you can uh, pass an adapter that will solve mathematical uh, simple equations so here is just chatterbot dot logic dot best match in order to kind of respond with just simple uh, strings and then we need to store this in a variable. I'm going to just create a variable called bot. And it's going to be equal to this, uh, to this object. And now, now that we have this, that we now, uh, that we have this object. And now what we need to do is that we need to kind of train our chatbot. So we need to give it 
some questions and answers and let that uh, chatbot deal with the situation and answer uh, what uh, the user is going to type and check and get the best possible response that we have.